Hello! Nathan and Ben here from the photography team. In this video we're going to talk about the Goldox TT685 flashes for Fuji. Um, primarily we just want to show you what these look like on the camera. Um, we'll just do a quick comparison to the Nissin i60As which we used to, well Ben well, still has those. I've just upgraded to these um, Goldox flashes um, and also I've got the Godox X1T trigger for Fuji, so this can power, this can trigger both these uh, flashes. Um, or if you want to, you can use the uh, the Godox as a master flash. So chuck that one on there. I'm not this one on here. This will show you the size difference because this is similar to the 350, is it? They do. They do a slightly smaller one, um, which is kind of comparison to this but not as powerful as this which is why we went for this in the beginning now the first thing you notice when you're mounting the flashes is the Nissin has a um, auto lock function yeah you can press the button on this and it just pull it off um, it just locks the Godox has the screw type mounting but you can get that nice and tight um, size difference so size. if we're looking at the cameras we'll put the these are both just a, these both XC twos, both with a sixteen mm lens on, so give you an idea of the size of them. And mine's got my strap. Anyway, I'm plugging the strap. <laughs> so, I believe these are both the same guide number of sixty. So powerful flashes. Um, they both take four triple A's. Double A's. Sorry, double A's. Um, um we're gonna if we get time, we'll do a comparison about the actual quality of light that these produce. I, f I found with the Nissins, I found that because the actual flash surface was smaller than these um, larger flashes that it was almost harsh sometimes the light and I would find that I would get a lot of red eye. I don't know how you find if I've you seen find a couple, that. couple, not a lot, but I've seen a couple. But when we used to use these size flashes with the cannons, I never used to get red eye. Um, so I'm hoping that the larger flash size is going to give a more softer light. Um, I mean, there's one thing I've just noticed. The profile of this flash, I don't know if you can see this part here against the eye cover, it protrudes over. Well, I think this one, looking at it, is a little bit more in. Uh, only by a little bit. But one thing I found out with these, when you've gotten to your head... We used to end up with this ridge here <laughs> as an imprint on your forehead, which is not professional. You, you, you're trying to do that and look through, that ends up stuck on your forehead. If I take my glasses off, it's all the contacts in my shoe. You can probably see this jammed against my forehead. Uh, when you take it away, you get this ring, which is um, Can't do it with a cap on. not comfortable. So yeah, this feels almost more comfortable. Yeah, I can see that's yeah. kind of not, it's kind of pushing away from your hair. If you go sideways, and you'd be able to show. Mm. And, and this one really, I can already feel that it's hit my head. So again, for for being comfortable as well, these that was a bit of a downer, I must say, not professional. And another thing we found with the Nissins, I mean, we're not knocking the Nissins because no, they've done all right. At, when we purchased the XT twos, these were yeah. the really the only flash that you could purchase with the XT twos. And they were the promise of HSS and yeah. you know, high speed sync. They didn't come with high speed sync, although you can now send them away yeah. and have them high TTL. speed sync um, activated, but they are obviously TTL. But the main issue that we found was triggering them off camera. Now we bought the air commander, didn't we? We haven't got one to hand. So there's a command little commander that you can put on top. Um, big thing we found that fell down i think they've released a new one or releasing a new one is that we couldn't sync up the two triggers to remote all four flashes because we have f two flashes one on each body each and you have to it will only sync one commander to the flashes at the time so where we used to put four about and trigger all four off we'd have um, a, we'd have a trigger each yeah and and both you know uh, the dance floor shot would have off camera flashes and we'd both be able to fire away triggering the same set of flashes but with the nissins and like that air one commander yeah. we couldn't do it you could only sync the, the commander would link to the flash it, it would link to four flashes but only that one commander would be able to trigger all those flashes, so the other commander would just be useless. We ended up using the um, Slave Digital 
on the back, and that worked all right, didn't it? Yeah. I mean, the only thing this has got that that hasn't got, as far as I'm aware, and you may be able to tell me, it's got, actually got a video light on it, a little LED light on the front, which you've got a bit of power. But for us, again, no, no need for it, really. Um, and we, the main, big main reason we're actually going to Godox is we've got Godox other lights, or Godox, however you pronounce it. So we've got the AD600BM, and we've got a couple of their SK lights as well, so for doing the more sort of studio, pop-up studio stuff. So that's every, and these are masters as well, aren't they? So Yeah, so this will trigger everything. Um, another, another reason for this one is it has a focus assist beam. This doesn't. Um, in low light, I mean, they, they yes, they, they yes, these Fujis have a little LED light there, but when you've got a, yeah. one of the decent lenses on, ninety, it's just, just it's blocked. So these have an AF assist beam, which is like the laser, which will um, hopefully line up with the focus point, which will obviously assist in in focusing. So this is what the Godox looks like on a XT2. We we got total. 180 degree swivel both sides. We've obviously got the tilt. So uh, you've got the built in bounce cards. Which is against this one. This one comes out of the back. So it's like a, a, an attachment at the back. And one thing we find with this one, where it's hanging down the side, we use the, the, the barbershop straps. When it's hanging down the side, this. <laughs> you've lost it already. Does that? <laughs> and really you end easily, up, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. But these ones, if you hit them, they're just going kind to. Of, bend and flop about. Um, so. so this is part two of the Godox um, flash, uh, mainly because the doorbell went. <laughs> uh, apologies about that. But we just managed to get a couple of bits set up as well. When we put a grip on the um, X-T2, uh, another thing which we're going to go into more depth when we do the X-T2 full review, which we're, we're definitely going to do now, is uh, we're taking these off. Um, yeah. So I've got one for sale. <laughs> Nothing thing so. Yeah, so if anybody wants a nice temperature to grip with a nice bar or shop strap, again, email us. Um, but we'll just show you what they're like with. Um, so the Nissan is again, it's nice and small anyway, which is the reason we went for these when we moved across. Um, so I'll give you an idea of what that looks like. But again, people that get worried about that professional look, um, you know, is the camera big enough? Um, well, yeah, if you're running grips. You've gone that bit bigger anyway, but it's just, it feels quite balanced. It's yeah. quite nice. Um, you know, using it however you're going to use it, it does feel quite nice. So that is, it's all good with the grip, uh, and, and again, it looks in quite quite in proportion with the grip as well, I think. So, um, but for us, we personally now don't really use these. We've got one each left, but they're mainly for like event use and um, yeah. video use and things like that. So, and what we find, what we find is. Um, We've, we set off camera flashes for the first dance. Um, once that first dance is over, everyone gets onto the dance floor, and that's an ideal opportunity to get some really good pictures of people having fun. Now, we've tended to switch now to the X100, X100 for that. Yeah. Um, and great. using the optical viewfinder actually is quite effective um, for that purpose. Um, now, with these flashes, that have been set up for the first dance, we can still use those for the, um, you know, for the for the the group shots of people dancing. And with the X One T trigger, we just pop that onto our X One Hundreds Fs. And done a bit. Get rid of the big. Get rid of the. Yeah. Get rid of the X T Two. Probably for the last hour, we're now yeah. finding these aren't getting used because we can blend in so much nicer with this. You become a. You become a guest. You know, guests have got bigger cameras than that, and people just don't think you're the photographer or no. the evening guest. I haven't got a clue who you are. So we can. We've just this little setup. We can just run and gun, however they, <laughs> whatever the phrase is. Um, and again, it doesn't look silly. It doesn't look silly, it's and. Fine. The trigger has a built-in um, focus assist cool. beam, which is ideal. So, and if you really want to go crazy, these yeah. will work on here. A little bit silly, really quite top-heavy, <laughs> but um, it'll work. It'll work. That's fine. And again, these are probably suited better. Again, reason why we've got them in the first place, I suppose. So that kind of does work. I know we have. I've used these on here before as well. They're okay. So just before we 
end this video, I just want to show you the um, sort of the layout of the um, Godox flashes. So, a couple of modes. Let's find the mode button. So you've got TTL mode. You've got your master mode. You've got your slave mode. Um, and obviously, with the T with the TTL mode, you can go manual, multi mode, and back to TTL. So there's loads of options for this. Um, lovely big screen. Um, obviously, compared to the the Nissins, uh, where they have a mode dial, they do have a, an LCD screen. But I just find these more customizable, easier to set up. Um, and when we've done this next wedding we can show you the results that you get from these um, compared to the Nissins because I'll have these and Ben will have the Nissins. Yeah, like I was saying, we are not slating the Nissin, not at all. It is a very good flash gun, it's very robust um, and it does everything you want it to do. Um, I think we have the trouble because we work as a pair uh, when we come to, to wanting to fire these off you know, to, so we can both have a trigger on our cameras. We set all these lights up about, and we can light up a whole entire place with four, uh, you know, the flashes. So that's where they started letting us down. And in the comparison of them being a bit more expensive, um, and we always used to run with the Yong Nu uh, on our cannons. And like I say, they're, they're more disposable. I mean, if I drop this, I'm probably going to squeak or make a little <laughs> bit of a sound because these are you know 200 or quid each where more you and, know, that and the rest yeah exactly so it's a case of like i say when that's hanging on on the uh the strap and it's upside down if that was to fall or you you go down quick this is what's going to take and I, I have had one of my cameras fall off the strap before and i just ended up getting a new flash gun and because we were using the young news i was a bit like it's not worth repairing you know they're that cheap they worked all right let's re you know just get a new one and i think that's how we kind of see these don't yeah. we they are our fuji young new we could say that in some respects um, fuji young new replacement if, yeah if young new did fuji flashes we'd have probably gone with, with yeah. young new but also like we said before we're using these now because we've got the the yeah, yeah the, the big brothers and um what have you they're all compatible the other thing we did notice, um, which was only earlier, the um, charging port at the front, the battery pack, we actually got your new battery packs that look like they fit, so um, if you have got some of that old stuff hanging about, um, you know, you might find this fit, not that we've tested it or that, and I don't want you going in and blowing up your Godox <laughs> so that we, really, we just noticed it was the same fitment, so, um, but yeah, uh, let's, we'll give them a whirl at this yeah. next wedding. Um, if we need to, because we're, 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 we're moving away from flash quite a lot, aren't we? Um, in our main use yeah. of photography. We, the, we go a bit more natural light. Well, we're using the ISO on these cameras. They are yeah. quite capable of, of quite nice images in, with high ISO. So yeah, we, we, we stepped away from that, it. Yeah. We, on a Canon, we were just constantly bam, 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 bam. You know, it, bridal prep, anything, we're just bounce flashing all the time where now we're saying, let's just use the light because it's there and these can take it. And we've, I had a couple of zoom, I had the... Um, 16 to 55 2.8 lens. I also had the 50 to 140 2.8. I've got rid of the zooms. And again, that's that's part of our big XT2 review, really. We're all primes. We've gone completely prime. Um, well, the only zoom we have is, is the 10 to 24, which is which we're recording yeah. with now. But um, that's mainly for we our need that for stuff. our property shoots. But we're all prime now. Yeah. No, no, we can we can talk about that when we XT2 yes. review, can't we? Um, so, but Godox recap. This good? this was just basically to show you the size on the XT twos and how that yeah. does work nicely. Um, it's not top heavy. It's more comfortable. Um, obviously, for those that have a grip, might yeah. be a little bit more comfortable. But yeah, happy with that. It's more comfortable on my means of not getting an imprint of this wheel on your head. I mean, yes, they are a little bit heavier, and the idea behind us getting rid of the grips is because we do want to um, sort of shed some weight. But yeah, a, lot of, a lot of our use is off camera. That's yeah. the thing we're trying to say as well is, is you know, this is what they look like on camera, but a lot of Fuji f uh, shooters are natural light shooters, and yeah. the only use for these are when you really need it, and two is off camera. And for us, especially with this now, um, off camera ability, this is going to be great because we've got masters, we've got slaves, it can talk to the big guys, you know. Um, 
where this we were finding ourselves limited but i think if you do want some nice neat on-camera flash these are perfect do it yeah we're not like i say before we're not slating them um these are very we've done flash guns. numerous weddings with this since yeah. but it's, and they've been fine now that there's another option that fits us better we're having a change yeah so cool that is the quick rundown of the godox tt685 flashes for fuji comparing it against the nissin hope you enjoyed the video please do comment like and subscribe to our channel um, it all helps us um, we've got some generate more these videos yeah. more stuff coming up as well and we we done a quick recap if you haven't seen that we got a gfx being sent to us by fuji to review for a couple of weeks uh on the proviso that we're doing a video we'd have done a video anyway um and we're going to use that at a wedding some model shoots hopefully and, and a couple of other things we've got some other lenses the, the mitocon mitocon we're going to go through that aren't we um and i'm selling some stuff uh so if you want a nice <laughs> bag or anything um, email us um, but yeah we've got some other bits and hopefully we're going to catch up with all these videos so yeah thanks, thanks very much watching. my name's Nathan and I'm Ben and you've been watching The, the Photography, Photography Team, team.